Mutta nyt kun tässä Henry Thomas, ja hän, hän on tosiaan meidän intialainen aurinko, <laughs> täältä, täältä tuota, ää, Intiasta alun perin, mutta hän on tosiaan Ayurveda parissa ollut, ollut pitkään, ja you will actually have this in English, right? Yes, yes. please. <laughs> so, so then we will change the language in English. And you told something before that, that Ayurveda has been with your, your family for a long time. Yes. So could you tell something more about that? Yeah, and uh, if I say clearly that my grand grandfather, who has been established an uh, Ayurvedic center in India, in Kerala, South Park. Uh, so in our family, I'm the third generation. And um, currently, my aunt, my mom's sister, she's doing for children, pediatrician, like a small kids she doing. And then uh, myself, I hope it will continue to next generation. Yes. And in 2008, you moved to Finland. Yes. And how, how, could, you, how could you describe it? How have you better changed your life? Well, uh, currently, if I look at myself, I've been very healthy. And look at myself uh, and to my family, they also like really healthy. And to my client, some of them are here, able to change them too. So that I could say more precisely that that's what I want to do, not only to me and my family and to my client, to everyone who could like come to me or doing with Ayurveda to change you all and in a better life and make it more even happier. Great. And what also in, in Ayurveda, not only in, in this, what Herr Thomas will, will teach you now, but in all the other, I mean many, many of the other techniques, it, it's so nice because you can do them at home. Yes, exactly. And the, and the idea of this lecture is also that you, you learn now how to do this Home. Yes, we are focusing more that you come here, you could learn at least one of the things that you could go home and do it. I'm not saying that you need to do what are we studying today, going to do it today, but some of them, at least one, at least two, that you could try in home and do it. All right? Yes. So let's give a big, big applause to Terry for this next uh, lecture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Aston. So shall we start? Yeah. So uh, my name is Terry, Terry Thomas. I am, uh, we have an Ayurvedic center with my wife uh, since 2009. And uh, his name is Saraswati, Luanda Isoitala Saraswati. And uh, we specialized in Ayurvedic treatment, consultation. And we have Panchakarma. I don't know how many of you heard about Panchakarma. Okay. So currently we are the only one center who are doing Panchakarma in Finland and uh, we are taking people to India, Kerala to do Panchakarma treatments. So if you like to come and get an escape from the cold winter, <laughs> welcome with us. And uh, Abenka, today my topic is Abenka and uh, I don't know how many of you know about Abenka, has anybody? Okay, some hands are coming up. Good, good. So, Abenga is uh, one of the classic massage of Ayurveda. It used a lot in uh, Panchakarma because it takes the Kunaineta voice, like uh, your toxins. It helps the toxins to go out. So, that's why Abenga is one of the important treatments in Ayurveda and Panchakarma. Generally, uh, Ayurveda is saying that you have to do, it's like in forcefully saying that you have to do the treatment yourself in home. Not only that you go to some center and doing it, but Ayurveda is saying that to balance a better life, a balance in your life, it's good to do Abhayanka regularly. Not only that once a month, but regularly you're doing, especially in a cold time. I'll skip about myself. Next uh, slide is about uh, something about me. You can read that in our website, sorry, because we don't have that much time, so I'll skip that one. So um, it's a traditional oil massage in Ayurveda, like I said, and um, it, it's so easy. It's, it's nothing that you need to know something 
or uh, I'm able to do this. If you don't have any wound, you can do this. If you have a wound area, then you should have to avoid this uh, massage and that particular area. Otherwise, you can do. And um, this is uh, when, when we're doing the Avenga treatment, it's recommended that you have to use warm oil according to your body body condition. So there is Vata, Pitta, Kapha. Have you all aware about Vata, Pitta, Kapha? Sorry, we don't have that much time, but I will show you in the next slide that one of uh, what are those and which oils are good for them. So uh, it, it is so easy. You, I don't think that, oh, we need something special to do this thing. Actually, uh, actually, you need certain uh, basic things, that's enough. And um, it makes you relaxed after doing this. It keeps you warm. And it also makes the circulation better. And it also keeps you calm. So even in um, some, uh, like a winter condition, cold, a lot of people have dry skin, dry skull. So that will be one of the best treatment you could do it and uh, some of them who work with computers nowadays quite many of them you get actually numbness on your hands for that or sleeping hands sleeping legs for that actually this is one of the main treatment that i could recommend it shows that uh, which all the oils are good for you so you can see vada sesame olive and castor oil. I will recommend you when you are doing this in home, try to warm up this. You can take in a glass, let us say one of you is a vada person. So you can take a sesame oil, then uh, you take a bowl with the warm water, you keep the glass inside the warm water so that the water, warm water will warm up the uh, oil. Then you can use that oil to like massage yourself. Uh, for the pitta, there is coconut oil and ghee. Coconut oil also good um, generally for pitta people, they sweat a lot. So, so many of my clients been saying that their armpits are smelling and they don't want to use anything um, uh, too aromatic in a way. So, coconut oil you can apply on your armpit, that's actually help, it's antifungal also. So, I can strongly recommend that one. Then uh, for kapha, mustard oil and there is also you can use sesame and olive. Mustard oil, Finnish people uh, not using that much, I don't know why, but it's one of the good ones that for kapha people can use it and warm it up and you can use them. Then there are ready-made vada oil, pitta oil, kapha oil that you can use. It's up to you what you prefer. But whatever oil you are using, make sure you are warming it up. especially. Vada type. For Pitta, I don't say to warm up that much, but Vada, it's better to like a warm it up a lot. Okay. Any questions? No. Okay. So, for doing this one, what all you need? You need a chair or a stool is better. And when you're doing it, basically, you will be on your toilet or in your bedroom. You can do either way. Put a towel or some carpet which you no need to use it. People generally say, oh, it's too hard. Once you start doing it, it becomes a routine and you'll be like, it's easy to do it. So what I do myself, I'll put a towel on the floor so I can stand on top of it. It keeps me warm. And uh, don't open your windows and try to stay because you, don't, you might don't have that much clothes, then you feel cold. So idea is you getting warm body you are warm, you feel warm, all right? So don't keep the uh, windows open, you can close it. If you have a sauna, you can warm up the sauna and first do that. If you don't have sauna also, the, uh, after the massage, you can take a warm shower, so, but keep warm the place. So in the floor, you have something warm, a towel or a carpet. Then you need a chair, like this kind of chair is fine, or if you have, a uh, plastic is good because you can normally Ayurveda is not saying anything plastic is good, but in this case I'll say plastic is a bit handy or wooden one, you can use them. Then um, you need a bowl as I explained to you, then hot water to warm up and uh, 
liquid soap or floor washing something because the oil can drain to the floor so you're able to wipe them after that generally people say the house become very messy <laughs> after doing the avenga treatment it can be if you use too much oil so you have to be a little bit careful how you using them and don't to uh, put it everywhere <laughs> try to keep on your hand and try to take little bit small amount then it won't be going here and there and the steps generally like i said is quite easy so you can take on your palm a little bit of oils then you can first try to apply on your head the skull area this is very important because when a client comes to me i can see that their skull is very dry and they have dandruff issues they have this flakes are coming out this cause um, we say that it's a vada issue of course it can be some pitta people also have it that but in finland it's very common i could say almost the five clients that come into me the sixth one uh, the fourth one i am like seeing that okay they have this so it's quite common that pe people are having this issue and once you apply the to skull make sure like so many women comes here they say oh it's too difficult for me to put in my hair it's not if you take take with your tip the oil is here then i'll take with my tip then you can like apply this way then it goes to your skull very much while you're doing that go bit gently don't go too quick you are not in a hurry to go anywhere if you are in a hurry better don't do it then <laughs> so do it in a easy way relax that time because if you do it in a hurry way there is no point of doing it so take a deep breath relax then you try to apply after you put on your skull area you can go to your forehead forehead also like no need to take um, some of the client that uh, learn from a book or when they learn from some of the youtube video they take too much oil you need a little bit in the beginning you need a small amount so you take again on your palm a little bit oil you put it uh, uh, spread it properly apply on your forehead all the way coming to the chin under the eyes and in india we also like put over the eyes also so it actually calms down when you do the over the eyes then you can do under the chin the upper lip area lower lip area all this part so the head area you can cover ear is very important ear ear is consist of our whole body all the organs are there this yoga therapy reflexon therapy they treat your ears the whole body so same like in ayurveda we treat the whole body so ear massage is calm you down so try to do little bit of the ear then you could come to the neck area then you could come back side of the neck the upper shoulder so when you doing in a classic massage generally there is a rule that you have to do everything towards your heart but in abhyanga no you can if the strokes can be come to the hands you know why anybody know why it make the circulation towards the fingers much better and it also activate so there is a circulation going to other side also not because towards the heart is easy and the circulation always coming back but towards here it's better to do it people get sleeping hands numbness like i said before for that problem it's very good so you do down stroke first you take from the back area you come all the way down then you like this way go up then you can go down again and you can come back so you do this long movement long movements are very specialized in abhyanga so that's why people really like they even come for marma but they still say that should you do abhyanga because it feels very relaxing once you start to do you feel that thing when you do on the palms you have to make sure that it's coming to the all the fingers like properly so it comes this way down you can do backwards also and again like you go through all the fingers in between the fingers also you go so you try to cover all part of the body you're not leaving anything okay he told only to do here no no you can actually go in between here so you try to cover all this part 
then you can come when you come back to the hands you do actually through your armpit the lymphatic system over here is very important the primary and secondary lymphatic system over our armpit is very important especially for women the breast related issues and also to making the chest area relax for men also but generally women comes and say that they have a problem on the chest area because of this thing so for the tissue over the upper breast to relax it's very important that from the under armpit you take to the breast area you massage here like properly up and down so once you come over the belly uh, people have vada generally have a problem of air so for the air this is also you can use for small children if you have a baby have colic we have some clients bring their kids with the colic also so you start from on the right side down to up it's like a i then first you do the i then you come with the l so it's like l then you make like a u so it's almost like i love you so first you make an i then you make an l then you make an u if you can make the u little bit lower like your lower belly get it it can release some of the air to go so your stomach become relax and you feel also better if your stomach is not relaxed you feel in a bad mood in india we say that if you didn't went to toilet your face it shows in your face sorry to say but this is the fact now you know so it's important that your stomach your intestine is working better and but once you doing this it's actually help your stomach to work in a better way then in the back because you done up to here then in the lower the back side that you try to do with your hands and you can do like this if you not reaching properly all your back it's okay no need to worry but as for the places you able to reach you could do them and it's also that in this part you can do it downwards and upwards but if you doing first time i'll say you try to do everything downwards so from here you do towards the down part and when you come uh, to the front area keep you can do both side actually the both uh, people generally sitting down they sit either like this or that they don't sit properly i can show you some of you sitting how sitting in your workplace so you might either sit like this or you might be sitting like this in both ways you are in both ways you are not using your uh, buttocks properly the buttocks muscle and your spine so you have a problem then little bit on balancing them in the right way because of that i'll i'll recommend that you doing the hip area properly the buttocks area also and in the lower part again when you when you doing here you can do outer like this and inner upwards and again outer like low lower part about the knee then coming back and the sides also if anybody think that they have cellulite generally women come and say complain about the cellulite of course you can use uh, there are some ayurvedic powders if you come to our center we can give you which is good for it so you can use that also with the oil it's an option but it's not obligatory that you need to use but just with a sesame you can do that and when you doing up and down make sure that you using certain force not to like a just uh, can uh, anybody come here i'll just show you how the force is so you get an idea anybody ready to come on stage yeah there is one person so it's not like that you just silitus no you use certain uh, you use certain pressure so when you doing you can like for example the hand i am actually using quite a lot of pressure do you feel that so you you have to use the pressure it's not like that you do like just applying the oil you have to give thank you yeah you have to you have to give the the pressure so then only the fluids move up and down any questions so we reach up to knee any questions until this point yeah sorry yeah i was wondering how much uh, importance there is that the oil 
keep it kind of warmer than your body because I thought that how about just at the sauna? <laughs> Okay, I am talking now according to Ayurveda, it is quite important, <laughs> I would tell you. Because to balance, if you are a Vada person, then it is important that you need to have a warm oil. And the cold condition like in Finland, it is important you are using a warm oil. So in that sense, warm oil is important. The idea is that your body feel warmness and uh, which actually help the circulation better. So if it's colder, like okay, you went to sauna, then you come back and do it. It's also good. I'm not saying that you can't do it like that, but it's always better. The oil also warm. Yeah. But if it's okay, like if I use the right oil to my dosha, that I will do after sauna, having the oil also warm. That is better. The suggestion is saying it's better. But already you went to sauna, your body is warm. So then you can use uh, room temperature oil, but nothing like it has been cold or your body temperature oil, you can use it. But for a better effect, it's recommended that it's warm oil. Yeah. Uh, uh, in the, yes. Uh, you can do in both way in the upper upper hands and upper body you do certain places you are able to use only one hand right but when you do for example here you can use and for the stomach when I am doing I do one but so many people in the beginning when they do they feel a little bit uncomfort so I say that okay you can hold the other hand like this then you do it is yeah legs also you can go yeah with the both hands and Yes, yes. So up to knee, when you go, you could like a use like this way and come in. So down and come in. Same to the back area, hamstring and the periformi, the back muscles, you do the same way. So both hand you can use or you want to concentrate only with one hand, that's also possible. Any other question? Should we go forward? So then we go to the uh, lower knee. So lower knee when you're doing, you can better to sit down then. Don't try to stand up. There are some accident has been reported when they have oils in their feet. Then they started to, the phone was ringing, they've been running. So please put your phone further away. Then no phone attending while you have a, your oil under your foot. It can slippery. So be careful. So next you go to the uh, like this part, then you do up and low. Here better to use the both hands. Then to the feet area. Now I have now I have shoe. I need to remove this. So so you take from from here, doing to the front words and to like coming to the back area. So you do like this. And you coming in between all the toes you can do also with like a how we do it in the hand so you can do like this in between the toe you can do and go up and backwards this uh, then you do to the next leg so basically you covered all body then it's recommended that you are staying there for some time you not immediately going to take a shower you give a time that the oil can absorb to your body and once you applied it you can sit down you can put a towel around like a like this lady in the picture you can put a towel around you then you can do the home things for a while or if you're relaxing you can go to your sauna but make sure that you also drinking little bit fluid because once you start to do the treatment your circulation the fluid circulation will be a little bit quick you might have a tendency of going to peeing which take your toxins out so if you're not drinking enough water 
you may get a headache. And after you applied the oil, the recommendation is saying that sauna is good, taking warm shower is good. And uh, after uh, when you take shower also like don't use any heavy chemical soap, uh, try to use like more natural kind of like thing, organic soaps. And you no need to, uh, the uh, hair also you no need to wash it like fully. You can use some um, Ayurvedic shampoos or there are like a lot of powders with the name Amla. Those kind of powders you can use for body also you can use according to your dosha there are certain powders available. You can use that not to take the oil benefit out with the soap. So once you applied it then you might also feel that certain places you have a pain or tension let's say you have shoulder pain you can actually do there a little bit longer time you no need to like a, okay now i done the next you can spend there a little bit long time if you have the recommendation is saying that you can do this seven days a week i know finland we don't have time so, how many times you able to do? Weekly. Four times are you able to do? One time. Okay, I got one person saying one time. I'll say minimum you're doing two times. <laughs> minimum, yeah. Hmm? After. After every every warming up things you can do before, then you do this after. Any other questions? How long did you stay in each part of the sauna? Is it just to apply the oil, or did you have to massage? You you have to massage like I showed to you, like the way you massage, and you can stay there at least like ten to fifteen minutes. The recommendation is saying that ten to fifteen minutes you stay. Uh, like two minutes is enough that in yeah one to two minutes that is roughly go because once you start to doing it it um, in the beginning you might think oh it's taking too long time but once you get used to it it goes like this so you're like a five minute you done whole body then, but you have to do it more if you do monthly once it's become like oh I have to do that again then some people they don't have time they they do only upper body it's fine you you do only upper body if you want next time you do you can do lower body when you have a weekend free then you you can do the way you want not to think that oh no now i don't have time this week i skip and feeling guilty about that that make you again out of balance in your dosha so if you forget this week it's okay at least do one thing like i said before going to bed you're doing under your feet uh, oil massage which is also good which calms you down so even weekly once one part of your body is awesome no need to be like a feel that oh why why i need to do once you start to do for a couple of days you feel the benefit yourself also what i'm not telling here but you yourself also feel you feel much more happier you feel less dry on your body your skin looks much younger so apply this. Any questions? Relaxing music. You can put something. Um, what could I say? Like some incense sticks, relaxing ones, some essential oils, as you wish. <laughs> uh, this is from my wife. So okay, I said her to not to put it, but then she put this thing. She's a Finnish, so she know what is Finnish audience do like it. So she said, yeah. So as she said that it's so easy that if you try to using it, beginning you may think it looks a bit difficult. And uh, yeah, don't worry, you can do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, pampering is a, uh, okay, you going to a massage is a pampering. You can come to our center, welcome all of you. We do this abenga if you feel uh, lazy. Come to us, we pamper you, but it costs a lot. My energy. And it's hard to get our time also. 
<laughs> so, but yeah, we love to get you all there. We are planning to get it more bigger. So, I hope you all gonna get a bit lazy to do this. So, we get more client, right? And yeah, it's a luxury movement at your home. You, a lot of you go to cottage, your summer cottage, or in the winter time, you also you go to your cottages, right? Just before sauna, you can do this thing. And once you start to do this, it becomes like a habit and you, you kind of get addicted to it, I can tell you. <laughs> because of this good feeling, you may think that, yeah, I want to do this again. Uh, you can do it like that way, but uh, in the beginning I was telling that you can take a bowl with the warm water and in a glass you take the oil or a ghee, then you put them into this uh, water here, yeah, so it get warmer. But you can do that then, you know this um, um, milk warmer, the um, breastfeeding milk warmer, there is a small thing you can buy it, so you put a uh, inside there you can put a water, then you put a um, glass with oil, then you put the glass inside there. So make it, yes, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so that is one option. Then um, if you, uh, uh, when, once you are doing the abhyangas, if you feel any places having joint pains or uh, like a shoulder pains, these are common, most of you have it. So, once you start to do this more regularly, you may see that they are getting better and the pain, you are not having the pains anymore. So, it also helps you and if you are a sitting person as I showed to you, the wrong position, this also helps you to get a circulation around your hip area, the buttocks area, the hamstring. So, they will not be like a sleepy, they will not be like a feeling numbness anymore. So in that sense, I can strongly recommend this. Some of our customer has been done this, they give us a very good feedback. So I could strongly recommend this and if you are doing Panchakarma, you could uh, get this one of this treatment from our side also, otherwise also in our Hoitala we have this treatment, so you can come and get them. Next I will show our, our team that uh, so, this is basically our team and what all we we offer in our center. So, the first one as you can see that it is Abhenga massage, then um, then the Marma massage. Marma mas Today in one of the lectures somebody was talking about Marma points. So, it is kind of acupoint, uh, it can release so many tensions and pains. Then uh, Shirodhara, has anybody is familiar with Shirodhara? Yeah, there are a couple of hands. Uh, Maria knows it's, she is getting all the time. So, and um, Swedish massage and shiatsu. So she doing shiatsu also. Uh, Eva, Eva is in the photo in the third one. So then Anuraj, uh, the last one, uh, they are holding the phone on the second row, and um, then myself on the middle, then Nicholas. And on the other end, my wife and Yutta. So this, uh, and we have a couple of trainees also. And we make Ayurvedic trips to Kerala, to India. So if you want to know, study more about Ayurveda, we have a courses. We do Panchakarma courses also. If you want to know and study yourself, uh, uh, massages, we give you the course in our center. Then, um, uh, yeah, and Panchakarma, that is, you all I strongly recommend in Finnish weather, Finnish condition, we have to do our purification. Uh, so it's a strongly recommended one. So please come on, welcome and uh, try to do that. Any questions before I wind up? I'm six minutes delay from the, sorry. <laughs> okay, if you have any questions, you guys can come there and we'll talk about this. Thank you so much for listening to me. I wish you a wonderful evening and enjoy. Thanks for coming to Ayurveda Day.